Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last video, we have learned how to find median from frequency table. There was a homework. Let us do it now. The table below gives the number of babies born in a hospital during a week, sorted according to their birth weight. Calculate the median birth weight. Let us prepare a frequency table at first. The headings can be weight and number of babies. Weight up to 2.5 kilograms, there are 4 babies. Weight up to 2.6 kilograms, there are 4 plus 6 or 10 babies. Weight up to 2.75 kilograms, there are 10 plus 8 or 18 babies. Weight up to 2.8 kilograms, there are 18 plus 10 or 28 babies. Weight up to 3 kilograms, there are 28 plus 12 or 40 babies. Weight up to 3.15 kilograms, there are 40 plus 10 or 50 babies. Weight up to 3.25 kilograms, there are 50 plus 8 or 58 babies. Weight up to 3.3 kilograms, there are 58 plus 7 or 65 babies. Weight up to 3.5 kilograms, there are 65 plus 5 or 70 babies. The total number of babies is 70. It is an even number. Therefore, there are two babies at the middle when they are arranged according to the birth weight. The 35th and 36th babies are at the middle. Let us find the birth weight of 35th and 36th babies. Up to 2.8 kilograms, there are 28 babies. Up to 3 kilograms, there are 40 babies. That means the babies from 29th to 40 have the birth weight 3 kilograms. So the 35th and 36th babies are also have the birth weight 3 kilograms. Therefore, the median is 3 plus 3 by 2 and that is equal to 3. That means the median weight is 3 kilograms. Today, let us learn the next section, classes and median. Today, we are going to learn how to find median from frequency table with class intervals. First of all, let us understand why do we make frequency table with class intervals. Let us take an example. Suppose there are 1000 students in 10 standard in a school. An exam is conducted. The total marks is 100. If we write the marks of all the 1000 students, it will be very difficult to understand. In such situations, we can make frequency tables. Here, what are the possible marks that students can get? They can get marks from 0 to 100. That is, there are 101 possible marks. If we write all the marks and their frequencies, it will be a big table. So, instead of taking all the marks, we can take a mark range such as 0 to 10, 10 to 20, etc. And the number of students who got marks within that range. Then we get a small table. There are three students whose marks are from 0 to 10. We cannot understand their exact marks. We can only know their marks are in the range 0 to 10. But doing like this, we can arrange the data into a small understandable table. Suppose a student got 10 marks. Where can we include him? In the first class or second class? We have to include him in the second class because from 0 to just below 10 is included in the first class and from 10 to just below 20 is included in the second class and so on. Now let us take a problem and learn how to find median. The table below shows the workers of a factory sorted according to the wages. Find the median wage. There are 41 workers. Median is the middle value. That means we have to calculate the daily wage of the worker in the middle. When the workers are arranged in order from the one earning the least to the one earning the most. 
Since there are 41 workers, 21st worker is at the middle and therefore his wage is the median wage. First of all, let us prepare a cumulative frequency table. We can take the same headings which are in the question, that is daily wages and number of workers. There are 6 workers whose wages are from 400 to 500, that is there is no worker whose wage is less than 400. We cannot write up to 500 as 500 does not belong to this class. So let us write below 500 and there are 6 workers whose wages are below 500. Now let us take the wages below 600. Wages below 500 are definitely below 600 also. Therefore, number of workers whose wages are below 600 is 6 plus 7 or 13. Now let us take wages below 700. Wages below 500 and 600 are also below 700. Therefore, number of workers whose wages are below 700 is 13 plus 10 or 23. Similarly, number of workers whose wages are below 800 is 23 plus 9 or 32. And number of workers whose wages are below 900 is 32 plus 5 or 37. And number of workers whose wages are below 1000 is 37 plus 4 or 41. We have seen that the wage of the 21st worker is the median. Below 600 there are 13 workers and below 700 there are 23 workers. That means the wages of the workers from 14th to 23rd is below 700 or the median is below 700. But the wage of the 21st worker is not below 600 as there are 13 workers whose wages are below 600. That means the median is not below 600. So we can say the median is in the range 600 to 700. We call this as median class. Median class is the class where the median is. So we can say the median class is 600 to 700. So we have seen that the median is in the range 600 to 700. How can we find it exactly? There are 10 workers in the median class. We can divide the 100 rupees from 600 to 700 into 10 equal parts and assume that each of these subdivisions contains exactly one worker. Below 600 there are 13 workers. Therefore, 14th worker is the first worker in the median class. The width of the median class is 700 minus 600 or 100. When we divide it by 10, we get 10. That is, the width of each subdivision is 10. Let us assume that the 14th worker is in the subdivision 600 to 610, 15th worker is in the subdivision 610 to 620 and so on. Usually, there is a tendency of the scores to cluster around a central value. So, let us assume that the daily wage of each of these workers is the mid value of their class. That is, the wage of the 14th worker is 605, the wage of the 15th worker is 615, the wage of the 16th worker is 625 and so on. Median is the wage of the 21st worker. We can see that the wage of the 21st worker is 675. That means median is 675. We can calculate this without drawing pictures. We have seen that the daily wage of the 14th worker is 605 rupees. The daily wages of each one thereafter till 23rd increases by 10 rupees. That means the wages of the workers from 14th to 23rd is in an arithmetic sequence with common difference 10. We can consider the 14th term as 605 and common difference as 10. We have to find the 21st term and we know 21st term is 14th term plus 7 times common difference. 14th term is 605, common difference is 10. So 21st term is 605 plus 7 into 10 or 675. Now let us do this without drawing pictures. First of all, we have to prepare a cumulative frequency table. 
we have already prepared that and we have seen that the median class is 600 to 700 we have done the remaining part using pitches now let us do it without using pitches the width of the median class is 700 minus 600 or 100 and the frequency of the median class is 10 we have divided this into 10 equal parts as there are 10 workers in this class and the width of each subdivision is the common difference that is to get the common difference we have to divide the width of the median class by its frequency or common difference equal to 100 divided by 10 and that is equal to 10. Now let us observe which is the first term in the median class. Since below 600 is 13, 14th term is the first term in the median class. It was the mid value of the first subdivision 600 to 610 or to get the 14th term or the first term in the median class we have to add half the common difference to the lower limit of the median class that is 14th term is equal to 600 plus d by 2 or 600 plus 5 and that is equal to 605. Now we have seen that median is the 21st term and we know 21st term is 14th term plus 7 times common difference. 14th term is 605 and common difference is 10. Replacing the values we can write median is equal to 605 plus 7 into 10. 7 into 10 is 70. So this can be written as 605 plus 70 and that is equal to 675. That means median is 675. Today we have learned how to find median from frequency table with class intervals. Now there is a homework. The table below shows the employees in an office sorted according to the age. Find the median age. We shall discuss the remaining part in the next video. Till then, bye.